e te iwi nau mai haere mai ki te hōtaka nei. Kei reira te kōrero, ahakoa heiti he paunamu, ara ahakoa he kiriata poto, he kōrero pakiwaitu. Ara i tēnei rā, he kōrero tuku iho hoki. Kei konei tātau i tēnei rā, kei kāpiti. Te rohe pōtai o ngā iwi e toru, a Ngāti toa rangatira, Ngāti Raukawa, me te ati awa. A koe nei hoki te wāhi mahi o ngā Simmons Brothers. A kei te tūtaki atu tātau ki tētehi o ngā Simmons Brothers, te tuakana, kia Phil Simmons, ko tātau manuwhiri i tēnei rā, he kaihanga o kiriata, o te kiriata poto, a very nice honeymoon. Nā, koe rā mo ngā kōrero, me tūtaki atu tātau. E te iwi nau mai haere mai anō. Kei konei mātou, kei te whare o te Simmons Brothers. And here we have Mr. Phil Simmons, the tuakana the, of the, the double act, the Simmons Brothers. Tell us, firstly, storytelling. Often the filmmaker makes a big impact with a personal story. You've gone out with A Very Nice Honeymoon, which is a personal and historic film, but you have fused it with animation. Not an easy thing to do. Where did the concept come about? The idea of taking archival audio and, and animating, like bring, virtually bringing people to life again, you know, putting images with their, with their voices, to me, it's like, that hasn't been possible all through history. You know, people have, have wanted to know, basically tried to figure out how they can get pictures moving Mm. And yet, and and so you've got all these great artists who would have been probably animating, that that haven't now in the in the in this kind of part of history. Suddenly, anybody can animate. If you've got a if you've got a com home computer with a scanner, you know, you can create your own animation. So I just find that really exciting. Cool. Um, so powerful because you know you can get a, you can use actors, or um, you can work to to a script. But it's what happens when, um, when you're jamming, mm. or when you're in conversation, um, and it's um, spontaneous and it's unplanned. You're not thinking ahead. You're just saying, you know, what what you're in the moment. That's what I'm interested in capturing. Um, one day before her twenty-first birthday. The, yeah. the day before her twenty-first birthday. The day, yeah. Yeah. Same thing. One day, the day. And then we just take that audio, and we animate to that. I said, didn't I tell you? Okay. And because of the realism, there's, um, from the audience, and I'm speaking as an audience member watching your film, there's a, a quicker inroad to making an emotive connection to your characters. It's a nice thing that happens, but, you know, there's two, there's two main problems historically with animation. The first one is it takes ages and ages to turn over. Is this, has this been the, um, the case with you guys? Yes. <laughs> Secondly, how, and how do you get around that? Uh, well, you kind of you do you do what I've been doing over the last kind of two weeks, which is like working till three o'clock in the morning. Mm. Um, that's when the deadline's approaching. Um, but so yeah, it's still really time consuming. Everything's drawn by hand with a pen on paper. Um, so that preserves the real kind of old school. Um, feel of it mm. um, so there's no straight lines um, where the computer comes in is with colouring um, so rather than having to hand paint sheets of plastic as it as used to have to happen um, we we scan all the, all the drawings and colour them in, uh, on the computer and it makes it a lot easier but we still do all the layering right. you know it's still pretty much the same but a little bit faster one of the members of the family had a had a C60 tape <laughs> yeah. of of uh, an interview with my great grandmother, and um, but we were told that it, the quality wasn't great. But as part of our research, we we said, oh, we must track it down and and listen to it. Well, when we did, we were absolutely blown away because um, it was actually quite clear. I'll never forget. It was that like past twelve. Won't you give it bump? Um, but we it changed the whole project because we we realised that we could actually animate um, a great grandmother who died the year that I was born. The audio was recorded sometime in the 1950s, mm. so it was an amazing experience for me to, um, to 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 be part of the editing of it and then to sit down and to um, to to 
work with my, my mother, who has a bit of acting experience, So, and she, uh, of course, remembers my great-grandmother. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, she acted out the mannerisms while listening to her voice. Um, and then there was kind of a um, animating my great-grandmother, virtually bringing her to life. When I come up, there was good treatment, and uh, I look around, hundreds and so many life lost. And that's how they cry. Historically and to date, um, animation has been a medium which a lot of filmmakers have shied away from because there's a number of problems mainly centred around time. It takes a lot of effort, time, concentration and commitment to pull off an animation, let alone a good one. How have you found this process and does it work for you? Uh, if, you're, if you're talking about historical, a historical piece, you know, um, very, very expensive costumes and location and, um, you know, catering. Animated characters, uh, you don't have to feed them um, and uh, they don't argue back um, and they don't need makeup, you know? So these are all cost savings. No, um, However, it gets kind of, it kind of gets eaten up in other ways, but Actually, when you look at it, if you've got a really efficient system of uh, animation, um, it can be very competitive with with that kind of you know with those kind of costings. So I like the fact that you've got you've got a really tiny group of people working on this. You have this incredible amount of control over what everything looks like. If you don't like that tree, you can just change it. If you want a big explosion or a small explosion, you don't have to get occupational safety and health approval. You know, you just draw it. Mm. That's what I like. It's very immediate too. It's separated, and we went in the water. What was the genesis for a very nice honeymoon? What was the genesis of the story and concept? Well, it, it's a it's a family story. I I don't remember the first time I heard it. We just grew up with it. The photos of the wreck were on the wall, and it was always kind of referred to. And it this it was this romantic kind of story of my great grandparents on their honeymoon and, and the tragedy and losing losing each other in the in the black night. Um, it all made, you know, a huge impression on me when I was when I was growing up. And the drama of it all just kind of lends itself to, to making a great movie. So yeah, it was kind of an evolving thing, but it it always been there um, as a story that I wanted to tell. Um, we had some pretty major um, technical challenges because we had to marry 2D and 3D together and so we had to get our, our 3D work which was done in Maya kind of as flat as possible and tune rendered as much as possible to match the 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 black outlines of all the characters yeah some of the obvious advantages of animation are logistics scale size as well as flashbacks historical period, you're able to control every frame and every mood and the colour and the light. What is it, some of the other advantages to animation over live action? The thing that interests me about what, what, what we're able to do through recording the voice, the um, animation is so simple that it, it throws your attention onto what these people are actually saying. Very simple eye movements and very basic kind of uh, body language. Um, it all takes you deeper into what they're saying, and the thing that interests me about about digital recording and archival archival recording is that you can actually feel the the wider of that particular person through through the recording of their voice. One blanket for five for a woman. How could you get a blanket? <laughs> one was pulling this way, one was pulling that way. You can put on, say, like a Billy Holiday uh, recording, and you can be moved to tears by that. What's going on? You're hearing, you just hear, you're hearing digital images vibrating, you know, air going into, you know, and, and you're decoding it in your brain. But there's something on another level, mm. which is that, um, you know, you, that person may as well be sitting there in front of you. You know, you can connect, and it, trans it transcends time. I find that all that these are things that I'm really keen to explore further. Yeah. Well, no, it's the way. Good on our order of Motiho Takane, a Mihi Kawana Hau Kiakwe, Metofano, Menga Kodro Tukuiho Irotu Itene Kodro. Nareda, Hoki Hoki Mai, I the wiki two mai, I Konara. Twenty two.
just married. Come on, honeymoon. <laughs> honeymoon. That was a... Damn honeymoon, wasn't it? Yes, very nice one. <laughs>